Auto guiding is an essential skill if you're wanting to do deep sky astrophotography. Starting out in auto guiding can seem a bit daunting, but once you know the basics, it's really quite straightforward. There are plenty of settings to tweak later, but it's best not to worry about those until you're confident. To start with, just follow the simple approach in this quick tutorial. I'm assuming that you've already opened up SkyX and that your mount and cameras are all switched on and connected. Auto guiding requires a guider calibration to start with. Calibration measures how fast stars change position in your camera's image when your telescope moves. When doing the calibration, it's best to have your telescope pointing towards your target object, but it doesn't have to be exactly at it. Now navigate to the auto guiding tab in SkyX and let's get started. Take a photo through your guide camera. Make sure that subframe is off so that you get a full image. When the image comes up, select stretch and choose the best of the presets. Find a nice middle range star, not too dim, not too bright, and draw a zoom box around it. You'll need some trial and error to work out what the right zoom box size is for your particular setup. Take another photo. You'll notice that subframe has now been automatically selected, which will give you a zoomed image. When the zoomed star comes up, double click on it to tell SkyX that this is the star you want to calibrate with. Click Calibrate. SkyX asks you to set X and Y durations. For large focal length guide scopes, say 1000mm, these durations only need to be a few seconds. For smaller guide scopes like mine, which is 280mm, they might need to be up to 30 seconds or so. Use trial and error to work out what yours should be. Start short and work up to whatever it takes for the stars to move position enough for SkyX to do the calibration calculations. If your settings are right, SkyX will be able to come up with a successful calibration. You only need to do this once at the start of the night, unless you, you change to a wildly different target. Calibrations can often carry over from night to night also. With the calibration complete, you can now slew to your target. When you're ready to start guiding, select your guide star in the same way that we selected the calibration star. This time, click Auto Guide. Open and adjust your guiding graphs and minimise the Auto Guider image window. You're now Auto Guiding. Keep an eye on your guiding graphs while you're imaging. If they start to go haywire, it might mean you've lost your guide star. If so, simply abort the guiding, re-choose a star and restart. Well, I hope this has shown you how simple auto guiding can be in SkyX. Thanks for watching.